Hi everyone, so just wanted to do a really big shout out to the legend that is Norman Buckland. 61st birthday today. Seems like only yesterday we were at his 40th birthday party, which was a really good night. I think I just turned pro. I might have been pro for a year. And uh, we had a great time there, uh, as always with Norman. And it seems like only yesterday when I first heard about Norman, when I was a teenager, I think 14 years old, and I used to see all the doormen from Milton Keynes would, would point at Norman in the gym and they would tell me that he was one of the toughest men in England and there's a man in, in London called Lenny McLean, it would be a challenge and, and it got me really, it got me thinking and got me excited about these sort of street fighters and, and, and tough guys and all that. And what I liked about Norman was he would never start a fight, but he would, he would finish a fight. If he got attacked by a gang, he would fight the whole gang by himself. And he was never a bully, never a troublemaker. One of the funniest people you'll ever meet as well. Always a good laugh. A gentleman, always help you out. And uh, so many good memories with him. And obviously, uh, from the age of 13, 14, 15, I used to see him in the gym. Um, and then I used to see him on the doors. He used to do the doors around Milton Keynes. And then um, when I got to 18 years old, as I've said before in, in numerous videos, I went to prison and Norman was on the same wing as me, and he encouraged me to do boxing, which I'm eternally grateful for, because um, without that, I probably would never have boxed. And uh, did the boxing, we couldn't get the gloves and the equipment, so we just did it with a pair of socks around our knuckles. And we'd go and like, fight each other in the shower area with all the young offenders we'd be watching through the window. And uh, I loved it because taking on someone like Norman when I was 18, even though I was big, I was about 18 and a half stone. Even to take him on with no experience, I, I looked at that as the best way to learn. So uh, it was a really good way to start my boxing career off. And then, uh, and then, like they say, the rest is history. Did got to the ABA final, and uh, all, all thanks to Norman. I give Norman the biggest amount of thanks for this. And um, he's a legend. He's a true legend. And he's doing the rounds with the podcast now and he's getting a lot of positive comments. He's one of the most popular people on my channel. Everyone seems to love his interviews, which are rightly so. Uh, he's brilliant. And um, yeah, he's 61 today. Like I say, it's just gone so quick. It just seems like yesterday. And um, one of the most funny, kind, caring, but toughest men you'll ever meet. And I wanted to give him a shout out and wish him happy birthday and hopefully see you soon, Norman. A video coming out tomorrow. Uh, I, I called, I spoke to Eddie Richardson yesterday um, and um, had a good chat with him for about half hour and um, he gave me some good advice, some help on my, on my video tomorrow, which I'm going to do. We also spoke about other, some other fighters as well, because I'm doing a video tomorrow about a fighter, but a special fighter. And um, we also spoke about Build a Bomb, Cliff Fields and a lot of other bits. And Eddie told me a funny story actually about Cliff and he told me that... Um, when Cliff Fields went to work on the door, he worked on Eddie Richardson's door in London and he turned up with like a, an old, messy, uh, dirty jacket on. So Eddie said to him, I'm going to go and get you a suit. He went and bought Cliff this nice suit for him to do the door with. And then he said, um, Cliff turned up that night to do the door and he had the same old jacket on that he was wearing before. So Eddie said to him, where's that suit that I bought you? And Cliff went, oh, I'm saving that for the weekend. <laughs> I don't think Eddie was very happy, but he told me some good, good bits about Cliff, some nice bits about Build a Bomb, and some other bits and bobs. It was good to talk to him. I'm going to try and meet. I'm going to try and meet Eddie at the. Um, he used to invite me down to the Xbox's annual dinner, so I might go and meet him down there this year and um, catch up with Eddie. Try and get an interview with him uh, on the camera. So uh, yeah. But anyway, that's down. That's down the line. Happy birthday, Norman. Lots of love to you, mate, and um, hopefully catch up with you soon. And thank you to all my subscribers. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I'm feeling good, good at the moment. Done a um, four-mile, back on training now, because I've been a bit ill lately, but I'm back on training. Did a four-mile walk this morning, taking it easy. Done a bit of uh, pad work with someone. I, I trained them. And I've done a weight session with Matty Jr. Me and Matty are back on the weights, but I'm gradually trying to get my health back up and my fitness. I still don't know what was wrong yet. Um, but uh, I'm feeling a lot more energised. The energy seems to have come back, which is good. But uh, let me know how you're all doing in, in the comment section. And um, yeah, I hope you're all doing well. And uh, thank you to everyone. The likes, shares, comments, really, really uh, pushing the channel. It means the world to me. The channel's like really taking off. Um, I think 5,000 new subscribers this month alone. 
So I can't thank you enough. It really does mean the world to me and um, really keeps me motivated to keep doing these videos that I'm doing. So yeah, thank you all and see you soon.